In the ancient silence beneath the ocean waves, where sunlight turns to shadow and time moves like the tide, lives a creature so alien it seems untouched by the rules of nature as we know them. It has no eyes in the way we understand sight, no ears, no brain, and yet it moves, not blindly, not randomly, but with intention, with choice, with awareness. This is the story of the starfish, a being that breaks the very definition of intelligence, an animal that thinks not with a mind, but with its body, one whose limbs don't simply obey, they decide. Welcome to the world of decentralized intelligence. Before brains, before bones, before anything had a spine, starfish emerged. Over 500 million years ago, the oceans teemed with primitive life. Amid it all, a strange body plan took shape. Radial symmetry, where life doesn't move forward, but outward. This form gave rise to the echinoderms, sea urchins, sand dollars, brittle stars, and the most iconic of them all, the sea star. Its body seems simple, even decorative, but this form hides a biological enigma. Five arms stretch from a central disc, each one capable of sensing, moving, and choosing independently. Its anatomy evolved not for speed or aggression, but for endurance and adaptation. In that stillness lies resilience. In that slowness, something far deeper. A new way of organizing intelligence. In most animals, the brain is the master organ, a central processor issuing orders. But in a starfish, there is no such central control. Instead, at the core of the starfish's body lies a nerve ring, not a brain, a loop, a circle of connection. From this ring, five radial nerve cords extend into each arm. They don't just carry messages, they interpret them. Each arm receives signals, processes them locally, and acts. The ring doesn't command, it synchronizes. Imagine if each of your limbs could think for itself, choose its direction, and inform the others. That's how a starfish moves, not by hierarchy, but by negotiation. Not by top-down control, but through lateral communication. It is the biological version of a decentralized internet, each node independently intelligent, yet constantly connected. Each starfish arm is a complete sensory and motor unit, Within it lies a radial nerve cord capable of processing input independently. These arms detect food, danger, terrain, and they respond. When a starfish encounters prey, the arm closest to the stimulus initiates action. It doesn't wait for permission from a central authority. The others follow, aligning their motion with the leader. But leadership is temporary. At any moment, another arm might detect a stronger signal, fresh prey, a predator's approach, and the decision-making locus shifts. This fluid leadership model mirrors systems in modern technology, peer-to-peer -peer networks, blockchain, and AI collectives. The starfish, in its primitive elegance, foreshadows the future. Beneath each arm lies a mesmerizing structure, hundreds of tube feet. These tiny appendages move via a hydraulic system called the water vascular system, a complex network of canals that pump seawater to extend and retract each foot. Each tube foot operates independently. It senses chemical trails, detects textures, and responds to the environment, and yet, Together they create graceful movement as if choreographed. This is intelligence through feedback, not command. The feet feel the world and adjust accordingly. No foot leads, yet all move in harmony. It is a kind of emergent coordination, a system where control arises from local action, not global orders. It's a body that listens to itself, moment by moment, 
At the end of each arm lies an eye spot. These are not eyes in the conventional sense. They cannot form images, but they can detect changes in light, distinguish shadow from brightness, and help the starfish orient itself. Each eye spot connects to its arm's nerve cord, providing sensory data locally. If one arm moves toward a light source, the others follow, not through centralized vision, but through cumulative limb-based perception. Scientists have discovered that starfish can navigate toward coral reefs, avoid predators, and even adjust to changing light conditions, all without a brain. This is vision without seeing, sensing without centralization. So how does a starfish choose a direction? How does it decide? Behavioral studies show that when presented with multiple paths, the starfish doesn't rely on one dominant arm or a central node. Instead, each arm contributes to a form of voting. The limb with the strongest stimulus, the scent of food, the feel of sand, sways the others. Decisions are made by majority. Arms align based on shared local data. If one arm encounters resistance, the starfish can reverse and reroute. It's a living example of biological consensus, a collective intelligence in motion. Such a mechanism is robust, fault tolerant, and deeply adaptive. If one arm fails, the others adapt. The starfish is not vulnerable to the failure of a single node. Perhaps the most famous feature of starfish is their regenerative ability. Lose an arm, and another grows in its place. In some species, a single severed arm can regenerate into an entirely new starfish. But what's more astounding is how this process respects the animal's decentralized design. The regenerating arm doesn't just regrow tissue, it rebuilds part of the nervous system, reestablishes connectivity, and reintegrates into the body's intelligence. This isn't just healing. It's re-networking. The arm doesn't simply return. It resumes its role in sensing, deciding, and guiding. Here, biology becomes architecture, self-repairing, self-organizing, self-thinking. Starfish communicate internally and externally using chemical signals. Their tube feet can detect scents from prey like mollusks and clams. But even more impressively, their bodies emit signals that help synchronize arm movement. When one arm touches food, it releases neurotransmitters that influence nearby arms. This chemical ripple allows coordination without thought. The ocean is not silent to the starfish. It is a sea of chemical messages. Their intelligence is not based in neurons alone but in a rich biochemical dialogue with the world around them. Do starfish know they are moving? Are they aware of the world, of their choices? These are difficult questions, but researchers have noted that starfish show goal-directed behavior. They approach prey, avoid threats, seek out particular environments. Their movement is not random, it is purposeful, Consciousness may not reside in a brain at all. It may emerge from patterns of feedback, from complex systems in balance. If awareness is the ability to respond adaptively to the environment, then perhaps in their own alien way, starfish are aware. They don't think as we do, but they may feel, decide, and adapt with a wisdom we're only beginning to understand. In labs across the world, Scientists and engineers are studying starfish for inspiration. Their decentralized model is guiding new technologies, from modular robots that can reassemble themselves to adaptive AI networks that function without a core processor. Swarm robotics, designed to mimic insect colonies, are now looking to starfish as a model of fluid intelligence. Machines that move like limbs, that decide like arms, that adapt like sea stars. 
Even in human organizations, the starfish model is gaining ground. Decentralized governance, cooperative leadership, and flexible adaptation, concepts that starfish have embodied for millions of years, are being explored by businesses, governments, and communities. We often search for intelligence in eyes, in skulls, in synapses. But what if mind is not a place? What if it is a process spread across flesh, across time, across limbs? The starfish teaches us that thought need not be fast to be wise. That awareness can be slow, silent, and strange. That life doesn't need a brain to make choices. As it glides across the seabed, arm speaking to arm, tube foot to tube foot, light guiding from above and chemical trails guiding from below. The starfish becomes something more than an animal. It becomes an idea. The idea that intelligence is not what we think it is. In every step of its soft and silent journey, the starfish redefines what it means to know. In a world driven by central brains and complex thoughts, the starfish reminds us that intelligence isn't always where we expect it to be. That movement, purpose, and life can emerge from something deeper, something ancient, decentralized, and beautifully unknown. Without a brain, without eyes, without a command center, the starfish lives, it senses, it thrives, it challenges our very definition of intelligence, and opens the door to a universe of hidden wonders beneath the waves. Final slow, fade into a serene underwater horizon. Thank you for exploring this mystery of nature with us. Stay curious. The ocean is full of secrets yet to be uncovered. No brain, no limits. Subscribe for more mysteries from the deep.